Stay right there. And then Satan said, well, I can't seem to get man to will not. But I think if I do a in run and come around man and not deal with him and come over here and, and, and do a little in run and talk to woman, now I can see if I can tempt her to will. Yeah, she like diamonds and rings and all those things. <laughs> She like what she see with her eye and, 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 and see this tree over here, this tree over here, if I can get her, pull a woman over there with you, pull her over there, if I can pull her away from man and get her, that tree, and tell her that tree look real good. But what this tree represents is your ability to will against God. You can, you can will to follow him and not follow God. Now, once she did, and she, he got it in her head to do this, and he knew that it was in her head, he left. He left, and then she goes back to man. She goes to man, and she tells man to come, 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 and let's eat this tree together. No, she can, she, you know, the woman got power and influence, right? And then man finally eats it. He does. So now, watch this. Now he ate it, and all of a sudden, turn around to the audience, all of a sudden, they realize something wrong, that they feel ashamed and guilty and naked. And God looks and he says to them, y'all know what you have done? You have. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. My point is to each other. You point it. Yeah, that's what it is. That, 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 that's right. And the, and the father comes in and says, all this ain't going to help nothing. The only thing that's going to help now is I need somebody who can pay the price for this sin. And so while you all are in your sin, you can have your seat down. While you all are in your sin, let's give it up for the actors. Let's thank God for that. Right. He says, wait a minute. Don't, don't go yet, son. Don't go yet, son. He tells the son, now son, did you see what happened down there? You know we got a problem, right? Now you know we made man in our image so that we could continue to be family. Now the family's all messed up. Somebody has got to go down there and fix this. And I am asking you, you're the only one who can do it. This is, this is, this is your unique mission in life. Will you do this for me? And you saw what happened when yeah, Satan over there, I asked him to do something, he wouldn't do it. And he down in hell now, you know, trying to get an air conditioning. But 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 I'm asking you, will you go down there? Now I'm gonna tell you up front. It's gonna be pain, it's gonna be shame, and and it's gonna be death. I know you don't know what that is, but trust me, it, from what they tell me it's real bad. Will you do it? Yes, what? Yes, I will. Go ahead, go down there. He said, yes, I will. He said, yes, I will. Now, stay, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. So, so fast forward, he's on the cross, right? He's on the cross. And then after he's done everything he could, he says, it is finished. Yeah. Say it is finished. So, yeah. it, it, it is finished. And the Bible says that he then said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And then he bowed his head and he died. Then they took him off the cross and they laid him in the tomb. Now I need you to lay on the ground, please. I need you to lay on the ground. Now listen to me, listen to me everybody. Jesus is in the grave. He's dead. Point number three says, Jesus willingly obeyed God and, and was exalted. Remember he said he obeyed God unto death. But the Bible says because of his obedience, it was not possible that the grave could hold him. Because anytime you obey God, it is impossible for you not to be blessed by God. Can you say amen? Yeah. Anytime you, I don't 
don't care what the devil says. If you obey what God said, it is literally impossible for God not to bless you. Because God can't lie. Church, if you don't get anything else out of today's message, you got to get this. Sacrifice is giving up what you have to God to gain something greater. Sacrifice. Where was Jesus? He was up here with the Father. What did he have? He had all the angels bowing to him. He had everybody. The Bible says the angels are around him 24 hours a day. What are they saying? Holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. They just, they're praising the praise. So he had all the praise. He had all the glory. He had all the power. You say, well, what else could Jesus have possibly wanted or needed? This is a very interesting question. If sacrifice is giving up what you have to gain something greater, the question I want to pose to you today is, what greater could Jesus have possibly gained when he was already God? And I'm here to tell you that when he put his life down, the Bible says, therefore, God has highly exalted him. Come on up, son. You obey. Come on back up. He highly exalted him and he gave him a name that was above every name. Now, wait a minute. I thought he was God before, but because of his obedience to God, he gave him a name that was called Savior of the world. In other words, he was God before, but now he's our God. He's the God of all flesh. He's the God of man. He's the redeemer. He's the restorer of man. That was a name greater than the name he had. Are y'all hearing me today? Church, God is trying to tell you today, if you don't get the principle of sacrifice, you'll never go higher. In order to gain more, you have to give up what you have. Why do you think the devil always fights you when you try to fast? Because he knows that when you back off of what you can do because of what God told you you should do and what you said you now will do, that you're going to gain something even greater. I, I, I know that it might be a little befuddling to some of y'all, but there's something greater than fried chicken. I, I know it might be a little confusing to a few of y'all, but there's something greater than some brisket of beef. I know that it might be a little confusing to some of y'all, but there's something greater than always having uh, uh, everything you want. When you back off of those things and you do it to God, He's going to exalt you and give you something greater. Praise the Lord. Let's give God some praise. God bless you, son. My time is up, and I thank you for yours. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that was above every name. Watch this. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. Wait a minute now. Of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Come on, church. Under the earth. He said, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But in other words, if we do like Jesus and not go by how we feel, but act by how we will, based on what God wills us to do, we won't end up like Satan. We're going to end up like Jesus on top and in charge. Give God some praise. Amen. Praise the Bible. I have to go. Saints and praise.